What's going on YouTube? GSNOW8 here. So in today's video, we're going to discuss about another jailbreak for iOS 10.3.3 uh, down to iOS 10.0, which is a lot of versions in there uh, that has been released. We're talking about Meridian jailbreak, and this one supports the iPhone 7 and 7 Plus. And we're going to see how you can jailbreak with it and what you need to know about it, because it's still unstable, it's still a work in progress, and um, I still do not recommend it for beginners. But let's Let's see what's going on. So um, this one is a completely different jailbreak uh, compared to the Goblin jailbreak that I have presented, which is also a jailbreak for iOS 10.3.3 and lower down to iOS 10.3. But Goblin doesn't support the iPhone 7 and 7 Plus. Now um, you choose whether you go with Meridian or with Goblin, depending on what device you have. Uh, but um, this one in here supports more iOS versions. This one supports iOS 10.0, iOS 10.1.1, 10.1, 10.2, 10.2.1, 10 so you can replace Yalo and um, Saigon jailbreak with this one. Um, it supports iOS 10.3, 10.3.1, 10.3.2, and 10.3.3. .3. It doesn't support, however, iOS 11. Uh, Goblin doesn't support iOS 11 either. So. It does contain Cydia, but it doesn't contain the substrate. Now, uh, these are the uh, devices that are supported and the iOS versions supported. And um, as I say, the substrate is not working. It has to be updated by Soric, but Cydia does install. Now, uh, this makes use of Vortex exploit created by Saigusa, and it might take a couple attempts. It's a semi-untethered jailbreak, which means that you will have to re-sign the IPA every seven days. So, um, yeah, in order to get it, you press download and public beta 3. Now, this has been uh, created a couple days ago, like four days ago, you know, the first beta, but I uh, purposefully missed it because um, I didn't want to present it on the channel at that point in time since it was very, very buggy for me. Now, the public beta 3 is as buggy as the beta 1 for my iPhone 7 Plus, but I decided to make a video on it since some of you uh, asked for it. So, um, just a couple hours ago, Sparky has published a um, statement in here, quote, just pushed the uh, public beta 3, which fixes the down button crashing on iPad and the read, write, remount check. And he posts the link for the jailbreak. So um, yeah, this was one of the updates I was waiting for so that I can present it on the channel. However, do not go ahead and use it right now. It's still not for beginners. It still crashes a lot. Uh, Cydia installs, but it doesn't recognize its own sources, at least in my case on my iPhone 7 Plus iOS 10.3.3. There's still a lot of work to be done. So yeah, you press download, you get beta 3, and you also need Cydia Impactor, which can be downloaded in here for macOS, Windows, or Linux. After you have that, you get the IP in here, connect the phone, and I'm going to open CDA Impactor. What you need to do is, as always, to drag the IPA and drop it into the CDA Impactor and log in with your Apple ID and password. Be right back. So after you are uh, signed in, it's going to automatically deploy it to the device. You might get an error at some point in CDA Impactor after the sandboxing part, and uh, it looks like this. If you get this error, do not worry. Uh, the application has been installed to your phone. I do not know why you get this error, but you can simply skip it. So um, I'm gonna get to the phone and show you what it does. So after you deploy the application to the device, you will have it in here. It has that uh, Planet Earth logo. You open it and it should look like this. It found my device as an iPhone 9.4, which is 7 plus, running iOS 10.3.3. You just have to press the go button in there, but you should keep in mind that it might crash. Um, it crashed for me quite a lot. It seems to have a problem with my device, my 7 plus, uh, since it barely works in my case. This is why I do not recommend it for the beginners and this is why I didn't make a video on it earlier because it's still very unstable. Now I'm going to put pause on the video, I'm going to press go, see what's going on and be right back after I get it going. It might take some time. Alright, so I finally managed to get it going. As you can see the exploit has failed a couple times in here but not even close to what happened a couple hours ago when I tried this. Uh, it simply kept on rebooting and rebooting and rebooting and rebooting every time I tried to deploy it. So yeah, apparently 
currently if you have the device up and running for like an hour and so it has more chances to not crash to oblivion however after it's done and you get this it says your device has been freed you have to press done and you have to press extract dpkg in order to make this work like that um, now I'm not going to close the application because I found a bug at least on this particular device if I go ahead now and you know open the app manager and swipe up to close Meridian is going to restart the phone I have no idea why so um, I'm pretty sure that this is not the intended use of Meridian uh, you shouldn't be um, you shouldn't be required to keep the app open but it's still a bug and um, again this is one of the reasons I did not present it earlier because it's very buggy compared to Goblin now Cydia does install and uh, it opens but it's not usable at least not on the iPhone 7 plus uh, see this is the error that I get. I have already contacted the um, developer and told him about this thing, but I did not get any response yet. Maybe he's sleeping or something. Um, it's pretty much an error about the fact that Cydia cannot access its sources file, which pretty much contains the uh, repositories that you have installed. And it cannot open the preferences file that pretty much contains everything about Cydia, I guess. So yeah, you press return on Cydia. Cydia does in fact work, but that's pretty much it. You can see what is installed even if you press on expert. You can search for stuff, for example, I file. Yeah, it's not going to search it because there are no repos in here. And uh, you can see there are no packages. And, uh, you know, the normal Big Boss and Mod My Eye archive and so on are not showing up in here. And if you try to refresh it, it's going to give you the same permissions error. What I think it's the problem is the fact that Cydia doesn't have root access. It cannot read and it cannot write to files that are located in the um, apt folder. So, um, yeah, if you try to go here to more packages and sources and you try to install one of the default repositories, for example, Big Boss, it's going to ask you this, but when you try to, to install it, it will give you this error again that it simply doesn't have the permissions to modify the sources list in order to add your repository. So for me at least, Cydia is not usable for the moment. I can't simply do anything with it. Now, even if I try to open like barrel in here, it says cannot locate package because the uh, repository in which it's located cannot be found. So um, yeah, that's unfortunate, but uh, restarting the phone and trying again and trying to reinstall the package by uh, going here, let me show you, on done, uh, force reinstall Cydia will not help, at least not in my case. Maybe on the iPhone 6 or 7 or on the iPhone 6S, um, SE, 5S and so on, maybe there it works. But for my 7 Plus on iOS 10.3.3, I can get this going. Um, you know better than what I what I got in here. So yeah, I'm going to press um, extract dpkg again, and I'm going to try again. I'm going to show you it simply does the same thing. So we reinstalled Cydia, but it still doesn't have any permissions to do anything. So um, yeah, let me go ahead in here. Barrel, nope, nothing. So yeah, that's the problem. Do I recommend this jailbreak? Well, for the moment, not. Um, if you're a beginner and you're just getting started with jailbreaks and uh, you're holding up on your device and you don't wanna mess up with the file system anymore and stuff like that until there is a jailbreak that is stable, I recommend you to stay away from Meridian for the moment. It's a very, very good initiative. Um, and I uh, really, really love the fact that it's compatible with older versions like 10.0 to 10.3.3, that's a very, very huge range of iOS versions, but there is still a lot of work to be done and there are still bugs and for the moment it's simply not usable, at least in my case. It is in fact a work in progress, nobody said it's a full jailbreak yet, so I definitely recommend it only for experienced users and if you, even if you get it going, even if you get Cydia to work, the substrate is still not there, so it's still not usable, so wait a little bit longer. That's what I say. Now, props to this guy in here who contributed to this jailbreak, a lot of people, a lot of the community members, they're very, very great, and I really want to, to say thank you for creating this. I know there is a lot of work that has to be done, still has to be done, in order to get this completely going, and I'm pretty sure that it will be done. And I'm pretty sure that Meridian will become a good jailbreak. But for the moment, stay away if you're a beginner. It's still broken. It still has 
quite a lot of things that do not work, at least on the 7 Plus and the 7. If you decide though to try it, tell me in the comment section down below if it worked for your device and what iOS version you are running. It would be a good idea to compile a list of devices that work and that do not, so that we know which devices have bugs and which devices are working properly. So thanks for watching, do not forget to subscribe to stay updated. Till the next time, I'm Geosnow, signing out.